case uh, given the picture on the left hand side uh, we need to calculate the fraction of the alpha error which is the light blue one um, let's complete the figure as follows mm. we have ac equal 4 cb equal 6 um, o is the center of the, the bigger semicircle and then ao is the diameter of the yellow uh, semicircle all right so we uh, can say that uh, the angle ac a c o angle ac over right here equal 90 degree this is equal 90 degree it's just because this is the by the inscribed by the inscribed angle theorem so any inscribed angle that's substantiated by um, half a circle always equal 90 degree always equal 90 degree mm -hmm. and then look at the bigger one right here a d b the measure of angle a d b this is also also equal 90 degree and for the same reason all right because this is a uh, this angle is um, substantiated by um, the bigger half circle right here so uh because this guy equal 90 this guy equal 90 uh which is uh um oc parallel to bd all right because they both they both uh perpendicular to they both perpendicular to uh ad <coughs> all right uh and then uh since oc parallel to bd now look at the triangle adb triangle adb we have ac over cd equal a o e over o o b this is by the triangle proportionality Uh, but uh, by the triangle proportionality theorem and then we just substitute the value um, we look at this one we say AC equal 4 AO equal R uh, this one D equal R this one equal R which is the top and the bottom equal right here this must be equal so AC equal 4 CD must be equal 4 CDs must be equal equal four, so we put four right here. All right, now take a look at the uh, the bigger right triangle ADB. All right, All right, triangle ADB. Uh, we're gonna use the Pythagorean theorem uh, for this triangle. So we have AB AB square equal AD square plus BD square. All right, and then we substitute value AB square. This is AB, which means two R. So two R square, which means four R square. Equal AD. AD right here, which means AC plus CD. So it's gonna be uh, four plus four equal A. So sixty four plus BD. All right. So it's the same thing as PD, BD, BD right here. BD square equal four uh, R square minus sixty four. All right, so we just leave it right here. We're gonna use this later. All right, now let's take a look at uh, the another, the smaller triangle right here. All right, the smaller right triangle right here. This guy. All right, so we have CB. We have CB square equal c d square plus b d square all right by the uh, Pythagorean theorem and then we just substitute value c b square our uh, 36 so we have 36 equal c d square which means 16 because c d right here equal 4 all right plus 
PD, MIDI square, MIDI square, what we got right here. So we substitute it's going to be 4R square minus 64. All right. All right, so now we just solve for R. All right, so um, we subtract 16 and add 64 both sides. So we have 4R square equal add 64 both sides. So 36 add 64 is going to be 100. 100 subtract 16 should be 84. All right, and we divide both sides by 4 and we take square root. And since the radius equal um, positive number, so R must be equal square root of 21. Now we have R equal square root of 8, uh, uh, 21. All right, now we just calculate the area. So let me erase the top. Oop. We should have a light right here. All right, so I have I have the radius equal twenty one. All right, I write over here. Radius equal square root of twenty one. Sorry, what square root of twenty one? All right, so I erase everything. All right, now we need to calculate the error of the 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 bigger one right here, the bigger one semicircle right here. Okay, so the error of the bigger one a big, I call this a big equal pi r square. Radius right here equal root twenty one. Okay, and then you know that because this is semicircle. So it's, you need to divide by by two. All right. So you have pi right here, and then square root uh, twenty one square square root twenty one square is gonna be twenty one. All right, over two. This is the bigger one. Now the smaller one. A smaller. Which means the yellow one right here. The yellow one right here. Alright, so it's the same thing. You have pi r square divided by 2. Now, the radius for this one is going to be different from the radius for the bigger one right here. The radius uh, for this one is just half of the radius of, for this one. Okay, so we, we have, okay, let me try over here. We don't have enough space. Um, we have a small. Equal pi, All right? So I put r right here. Square divided by two. Now r square r equal the small r divided by two. All right? So it's gonna be the small r right here. So it's gonna be root twenty one divided by two. Okay? And then we substitute over here. So we have pi times uh, root twenty one. Divide by 2 square and then divide by 2 right here. Alright, if we simplify this is 2 square equal 4, uh, you bring it to the bottom right here. Alright, 2 square equal 4, bring it to the bottom. And then this one equal 21 pi over 8. And then we need to find the area of the, the light blue one, right? So, area of the light blue, uh, which means the aqua. aqua equal the error of the bigger semicircle subtract the error of the uh, smaller semicircle all right so the bigger one should be 21 okay let me box this one the bigger one right here the smaller one should be right here all right so we just take this one we subtract this one all right um we have 21 pi divide by 2 subtract 21 pi divide by 8 all right and then we simplify so uh, this is the common denominator common denominator should be 8 so we need to multiply the top and bottom by 4 okay so 4 should be um, 
84 84 subtract 21 so 84 pi subtract 21 pi over 8 all right 84 subtract 21 is going to be 63 pi over 8 all right because the question because the question asks what fraction is the aqua error so you need to take this one you divide by the original one we mean the bigger one right here okay so so the fraction fraction the fraction so basically 63 right here let me box this all right so the fraction should be 63 pi divided by 8 and then you need to divide by 21 pi over 2 so when you divide by fraction we need to flip it so it could be 2 over 21 pi all right now we just simplify pi and pi go on 63 divided by 21 this could be 3 2 right here simplify this will be 4 so the answer should be 3 over 4 and that's it this is math only math problems and I hope you see the next video thank you bye bye